All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Chakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly. Shalom to the Aqua, which is the women believers. Shalom to you. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. The Lord loves judgment. See, a lot of people think that. Because they get away with scoffing and being an unbeliever and you haven't been touched yet. People think that they get away. But the Lord love judgment. Matter of fact, the Lord is known by his judgments. Going to get the scriptures to back it up. But one thing that scoffers need to understand is that his word have to come to pass. He's not going to fast forward. He's not going to jump cut. He's going to allow everything to play out the way that he wanted to play out in its time. So I want to start off with this. It said, Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all things be fulfilled. Okay. So in that time, right? When he was talking to the disciples, he was talking about 70 AD, which was 37 years in the future. Because this was basically his last year on the earth. He was about to be crucified. This the lamb slain before the foundation of the world. All right. Our savior. So he was telling him, telling them about things that would transpire. And every time that you come back, you end up in a new age. All right. So. When you read Matthews 24, it goes into the time period of 70 AD and it also going to the time period of today. So the Lord is not going to, you know, not fulfill everything that he have written. Matter of fact, the scripture said this. And when you get this in another translation, it actually explain it better. Because you have people who just despise the name of the Lord that try to use this scripture to make it seem like his name is not important. So it said, I will worship towards your holy temple and praise your name for your loving kindness and for your truth. For you has magnified your name above all your name. See. Now, when you look into this word in Hebrew is idle. All right. And it said in the count of that's the definition in the count of. So if you read it, magnify your word in the count of all your name, because when you go into the word name in the Hebrew is Shum and the definition is reputation, fame and glory. So how can the word be over his name where the name and the word go together? That's how he's magnified. All right. Reputation, fame and glory follows a name. So how can words in a book be over the Lord's name? This word represents the Lord. OK. And if you want to be technical, who is the word? His only begotten son. All right. John 1 14. But um, but yeah, so the Lord, you know, also, you know, the saying that we have is Jake word is bond. Which means that I stand on my word. Take my word for it. All right. So the Lord, everything that's written in this book is going to come to pass. And matter of fact, since I said it earlier, might as well get the class of scripture. Because sins against the evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the hearts of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So. Going back to what I said in the beginning of the video, you got a lot of people who are scoffers, unbelievers living a life that they want to live, you know, doing what they want to do and thinking that they're getting away with something and ain't getting away with nothing. It just ain't your time yet. See, Yahweh love of judgment. OK, he reserved the wicked into the day of judgment. And that's not just talking about Esau. Let's talk about the wicked of his people. Anybody that do wickedness. 
it can be classified as the wicked. It's all about the context. Now you got scriptures where it's literally talking about the wicked, Esau, Edom, all right? The self-proclaimed white people since 1681, the devil that the Bible speak of, they those people. But then you also have wicked Israelites. So when he tell the wicked to repent, he definitely ain't talking to the to the wicked. He's talking about the Israelites that's in a wicked, you know, way. So anyways, so the Lord loved to do judgment. It just ain't time yet. But you continue to keep living life and don't repent. You will end up in the judgment. So it says, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. See, that's talking about everybody, everybody. OK, so. People are just reserved. Some people are going to make it all the way until the missiles get shot. OK, so. Just because you are laughing now, the scripture said those who laugh now shall mourn and weep. Those who are filled now shall hunger. So if you satisfy right now, you about to get put in a position of difficulty. All your comfort is going to be taken away because since you not hearkening unto the prophets and you think that life is going to continue on. See, most people who live in this world, even though this word is for the Israelites only, we still our job is to prophesy to all the nations. Because that's what Yahweh Shah said. He said, go into preaching to all nations. And the reason is because Israel is scattered into all nations. And also the nations do have to know their judgment. They do have to know Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right. Because contrary to popular belief, these nations have been thinking that we just been black, <laughs> Latinos, and Native Americans, and, and we don't have no history but being colonized. All right. And being over here. But anyways. So yeah. If you a wicked Israelite. If you the wicked. A Edomite. And the rest of the nations. Y'all all going to be judged together. It just ain't time for judgment right now. Even though the Lord is judging every day. That's in Zephaniah 3 and 5. He bring his judgment to light every morning. But the unjust know of no shame. You don't recognize the judgments of the Lord, which is scary because when you see something, especially like a, a, a tragedy, the Lord have did it as a saying, Amos three and six. Shall evil be done in the city and the Lord have not done it, but nobody looks at it like, oh, the Lord just judge. They just go on about their day, you know, they might be in their feelings for a moment and then, yeah, the, the most high in all their thoughts, as the scripture says. So this is what's going to happen. So, you know, people are kept in store reserve unto fire. That's the second death in the scriptures. Behold, the days come, save Yahweh, that I will punish all them which are circumcised with the uncircumcised. That's talking about the Israelites and the heathen. All right. Those who know the truth. Those who are in the truth, they think, but they being false prophets, all of y'all. Egypt, Judah, and Edom, the children of Ammon, the Moab, and all that are in the utmost corners that dwell in the wilderness. For all these nations are uncircumcised, and all the house of Israel are uncircumcised in the heart. All right? So, yeah. Whoever judgment is meant for, they're going to get it. And the Lord do not... That's what, what, what that scripture say? Um... A respecter of persons. The Lord is not a respecter of person. Okay. No matter who you are, if you do wrong, matter of fact, if you do wrong, you're going to, let me just get it. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done, and there is no respecter of persons. Okay. So, yeah, judgment will knock on your door eventually. And that should scare you, but it doesn't. So what really made me want to make this video, because I'd be sitting here thinking like, you know, I come across, you know, many of people, different types of mindsets. 
And I just be looking at them and I thank the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, every day for giving me this truth because I could be lost just like them. So I don't really, um, I put it like this. When you go to 1 Peter 3 and 15, it said that you should answer every man, you know, that asks you concerning this truth with meekness and fear. So I, I'm not very proud. I'm not a proud man when it comes to talking to people, even if they don't get it. You know, I just tell them what's going to happen to them if they don't repent. And that's it. And I always say, I hope I'm a man of the Lord and I hope I endure. All right. So, yeah, I understand that I used to be in the world, just like everybody who ever came into this truth. You started off in the world, just like the people that you're speaking against. So you have to be humble. But anyways, but what made me want to make this video is because this world is so wicked and they really do not have the Lord in their mind at all. You could tell by the way they live their life and the things that come out of their mouth. So people really think that, you know, that there's no judgment, that you're, you're not going to get judged for the things that you say and do. But the Lord, matter of fact, let's see, let, let's see what the Lord said that he's going to, how, how he's going to plead with flesh. For behold, Yahweh will come with fire in his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So this is how the Lord is going to deal with people. All right. Fire is not a friendly element. It devours. OK. And it causes pain. That's why the scripture said those who take the mark of the beast are going to be tormented with fire. So it says for by Fire in by his word will Yahweh plead with all flesh in the slain of Yahweh shall be many. So the Lord is not coming back to hand out, you know, hugs and kisses. Contrary to popular belief, because sweet Jesus, you know, the Christians, they believe that. But out of who they call Jesus mouth, which his name is Yahweh Shai. He said, I come not to send peace on earth, but a sword. Matthews 10 and 34. So the Lord, he's known by his judgments. Let's get that. The works of the Lord are done in judgment. So the Lord love of judgment, you know, the Lord do love judgment, but he going to do judgment on his time. And that's why that's one of the biggest stumbling blocks in life is because the Lord is long suffering. He's not impulsive like us. He don't act on every little thing. The Lord is chilling, man, because he everything is in his control. So I said the works of the Lord are done in judgment from the beginning and from the time he made them. He disposed, which means he set in order the parts thereof. So everything is going to do what the Lord want it to do. OK, so judgments are prepared judgments are prepared let's get that be you afraid of the sword for wrath bring up the punishments of the sword that you may know that there is a judgment see that's what's coming that's what's coming judgment is being prepared and when it comes you ain't gonna be able to escape it now the way that you can escape it as Yahweh Shah said 2,000 years ago, and it, and it applies even more now today because we are literally at the end. Seek ye the Lord why he may be found. So I'm ending on this. Oops. I hate that you got to spell like the whole thing out. Like I got to spell Colossians out, Thessalonians out, all of that. So um, it says Yahweh made... Yahweh have made all things for himself, yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. So all these things are just preserved, all right, to the day of evil. And that when that day of evil come, judgment will happen. And all the laughing and scoffing and unbelieving that you've been doing, you ain't going to be able to escape. So all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Seek the Lord while he may be found, and Shalom.